Anyhow, not going to talk about that. But what Peter Schiff fails to understand, okay, is this correlations between Bitcoin and all other assets, including gold. Guess which one's the worst correlated? Let's check this out. So here, again, the gold bugs are so excited. <laughs> by the way, pull up a chart of gold divided by M2 money supply. You can go back 50 years, 40 years, 30 years, 20 years, 10 years, 5 years, whatever you want. It's not a winning asset, okay? It might be good if we go back to caveman days when we have nothing else, but not right now. Now, if you look at Bitcoin, you can see it is far more correlated with risk sensitive assets, things like the Magnificent, Magnificent Seven. The higher it is to one, the more correlated it is. But over the last three years, Bitcoin has exactly a 0.63 correlation with the Mag7, and the correlation between Bitcoin and NASDAQ is 0.58. That's why I show it every single week. The Between Bitcoin, the S&P 500 is 0.54. So basically what that says is, Bitcoin is more correlated to the NASDAQ than the S&P 500, but it's even more correlated to the MAG7, which are high-risk assets.